What's going on folks? Today I just want to show you a little quick little video showing you the latest new audio setup that I have for getting good clean audio using two lavalier mics and feeding them directly into the mini XLR port on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Uh, if you're new here to this channel, this isn't your normal YouTube channel with really fancy graphics and f beautiful B-roll. It's not the kind of channel here that we do. What I do here is I do a lot of uh, real-world tests, lighting tests, camera tests, gear tests, uh, things that I use for future jobs coming up or jobs I've already done in the past and just sharing my results with you guys. It's just a community of low-budget indie filmmakers looking for good results without breaking the bank. So if you're new here, welcome, and I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. In the past, I've done a video showing how to get good, clean audio into the pocket for 4K using the Tascam DR60D Mark II. However, uh, that is a good little mixer, but it is kind of cumbersome, not really feasible in a run and gun situation. I do like to use that Tascam when I'm doing dual audio, meaning uh, recording audio separately from the video and you know, you use a clapperboard and all, everything like that. And it's really great. You can feed four mics into once, yada, yada. I've already done a video on that. I'll leave a link down in the description below. However, I have a documentary shoot coming up, very spontaneous, don't have time to use a clapperboard, don't have time to do dual audio system and all of that. So I figured out a new little plan. I've been doing tests here and I wanted to share the results with you. I'm gonna let you listen first to this audio, see if you agree that it's pretty clean. And then uh, I'll show you very heinous behind the scenes of how I have it all wired up using the Beach Tech DXA Micro Pro. So here you go, here's a sample. Okay, so I have them all running into the XLR mic. XLR mic for both channels directly into the Blackmagic via the breakout cable. That's going out into the Beach Tech. Going into the Beach Tech is the Sennheiser G2 and the Rode Wireless Go. I want you to consider that I did not tweak that audio or mess with that audio at all in post. I just recorded it directly as is and then put it on here on this video for you. So um, it, it's pretty clean. It's going from that Beach Tech DXA Micro Pro. I have both lobs feeding into the Beach Tech and then running out via the XLR cable, the breakout cable, into the mini XLR port into the Pocket 4K and recording the audio directly along with the video. So here's a little weird behind the scenes of how I have the Beach Tech DXA Micro Pro linked up with the lobs and I'm gonna forewarn you, it's a very heinous little BTS video. Nothing pretty about it at all. Okay guys, so here you can see what's going on here in the audio. I set it to XLR mic on both sides. Um, I don't actually have the mics plugged in right now, but this is just to show you the setup here. Okay, so XLR mic, okay, that's what's going on in there in the camera. XLR mic plugged in, and then it is running out. That XLR breakout is running into this XLR because then I have that one running into the Beach Tech, right? So the Beach Tech is in the out signal down here. The XLR breakout cable coming from the camera, right, it goes into this, right? And now I have this normal little cable here. If you look here, here is the Beach Tech. So um, now on this side, we have an out. So in that out signal, this one right here, this is where our XLR cable is going to go. You know, it's essentially two different XLR breakouts. I know some people are going to think that that's insane but it actually sounds really clean okay so now that goes into the out and the reasoning behind why I why it sounds clean is because the mini XLR port is much cleaner than the 3.5 millimeter port on the Blackmagic Pocket 4k and it's it's mainly I've done a video in the past about that already demonstrating how much cleaner the audio is into the mini XLR okay so now and then unfortunately this this XLR is an input and not an output so unfortunately that's why I have to use the other breakout cable to send an out signal okay so then what we can do is we have our little Rode Wireless Go here and this clips on right here and then I can plug it into the left channel here as an in, right? So now we're going in because this was out to the camera. This one is out and this one is in. Okay, now we flip this around and now we see we have that XLR. Uh, now we can, if we had another XLR cable to 3.5 millimeter, we could plug our Sennheiser into this. However, I only have one of those XLR to 3.5s. So now I'm taking this plug. This is too many plugs. Okay, so now I'm taking this plug with this jack and it's going into the right channel here. So see, this Beach Tech, you can actually plug in three mics. If you had another XLR, you could plug in three mics. Um, so there you go. 
And now those two mics are going into the Beach Tech and I'm able to control them here, all right here, the levelers. And then if you wanted to monitor this in real time, there's a monitor in. So you take another cable, which would be this one. You just take another little cable and you run out of the headphone jack of the Black Magic and you plug into monitor in, right? And monitor in, and then this goes into the headphone jack of the Black Magic. And then right here where it says phone, you plug in your headphones and then you can monitor real time what you're hearing. Uh, and then these are all the preamps here. So yeah, there you guys go. Uh, if you're interested in, in using any of those items, uh, I'll put links to both the Tascam and the Beach Tech down below. They are super, super affordable, especially nowadays. They're kind of outdated, but they still have really nice results. That Beach Tech DXA Micro Pro, I've been using it for a few months now on uh, quite a lot of run and gun documentary style shoots, and it works great. I been using it primarily on the GH5. So this will be the first time I'll be using it on the Pocket 4K. So that's why I want to do these tests. And first time I've been messing with it using that XLR breakout cable, but it is pretty nice. Now I know uh, in the past, we've discovered in my past videos that the internal preamps on the Pocket 4K for the mini XLR port are pretty decent all on its own. However, I do want to, the reason why I'm doing my audio setup this way is because I need to get two lobs running into the Pocket 4K at once. So that is the reasoning behind all of that. Um, but for now, that is it. I uh, have going to be a busy week. I'm doing the voiceover gig, plus we're going to be shooting for five days on this documentary shoot. I'm going to be running ACAM on the ready rig with the Pocket 4K. Meanwhile, my assistant, Tristan, you saw him in the past video, the SLR Magic versus Rokinon video. If you haven't seen that, I highly encourage you to check it out. That didn't get as much love as I was hoping. However, uh, he is going to be running the B-Cam, which is the GH5 on the Tilta G2X motorized gimbal. And on that, he's gonna be rocking the Tokina 11 to 16 mil F2.8. And I'll be primarily swapping between the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 and the Tamron 28 to 75 2.8, if you guys are interested in those. Those three zooms are my main go-tos for all documentary style shooting. You have all your focal lengths right there and it's they're pretty fast lenses, right? So um, I'll put links to those three lenses down below. That is my go-to zoom lens kit for any run and gun documentary style shooting, uh, weddings, concerts, um, reality shoots, all that kind of stuff. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. We have a lot of interesting tests coming up as we prepare for the feature film. So for now, that is a wrap.